On Tuesday, August 17, 2010, Octavio Avila was outside his home at 45th Avenue in Miami Gardens. A confrontation ensued, leading to a car chase that left him dead. Here's the story. My name is Amy Avila. I am the youngest sister of Octavio Avila. Me and Octavio were born in New Jersey. And we don't know much about New Jersey because we came to Florida when we were little. Uh, my brother was, um, he was a cool guy. He was a good big brother. He always took care of me when I was little. I really didn't get away with much with him. You know, if I showed up at a party and he showed up, it was time to go. That was the kind of brother he was. He never argued with me. He never treated me bad. My dad had four girls. We spent every weekend, every chance my dad got to come see us, he came. He never went a day without calling us. He always called us to see how we were doing. He's always calling to see if we brushed our teeth, if we took a bath, the same just fatherly-like qualities. He just contained it all. He just cared that much. When I was growing up, my dad took me and my sisters to Bayside, and he said that we're going to watch something beautiful, and we did. We watched all the ships, the cruise ships go by, and they were absolutely beautiful with their lights, and I always told him, I said, I want to go on one of those one day, and he said if he ever got the money, he would take me. He was the kind of person that if you needed something and he had it, he would give it to you. That's how he was. That's how I was raised to be, just like him. You can't be selfish. He was never selfish. Nothing ever fazed him. Nothing was evil in him. He was a good guy. Just one of those good guys, you know, that he would have given you anything. He had a lot of friends. A lot of people loved him. A lot of people do love him still. Bay County Police and Fire, what is the answer? Yeah, listen, I, I hear two a lot of shots in front of my house, and the car just he stopped there by himself. And there's a car there. Yeah, with the, light, the light's on, the car is running, but the car's not moving. Do you have any description of the vehicle that's sped away? No. Okay, they're on their way, sir. Thanks. Thank you. On Tuesday, August 17, 2010, at 9 p.m., Miami Gardens Police Department officials responded to 17050 Northwest 40th Avenue in Miami Gardens reference a shots fired call. Mr. Octavio Avila was shot while inside his vehicle attempting to flee from his offenders. Through this course of investigation, I learned that Mr. Avila was in a verbal dispute with several individuals in front of his house earlier that day prior to this incident of us locating him. After the confrontation, Octavio Avia decided to flee his home in order to protect his family. Our victim walked to his car, which was parked in the driveway of his home, and fled in an easterly direction. His killers entered their own vehicle and followed close behind. As Mr. Avila turned right on 40th Avenue, the offenders followed him and at some point were able to pass his vehicle and cut him off on the roadway. Mr. Avila took countermeasures and attempted to flee by placing his vehicle in reverse. As Mr. Avila was placing his vehicle in reverse, the subject exited his vehicle and fired multiple rounds into Mr. Avila's vehicle, one which struck the front driver's side headlight and the other which entered through the passenger front windshield side. Tragically, Octavio Avila took cover by leaning down into his car. Unfortunately, that put him right into the path of the bullet that ended his life. Upon arrival, Miami Gardens Police Department officials found the victim shot multiple times in his head and chest area. Mr. Avila succumbed to his injuries at the scene and was pronounced dead by Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. I was confused because I didn't really want to believe it, but when I actually got there and everyone's telling me what happened, I was devastated. I mean, there's no other emotion that you can feel knowing that your father is gone. You can't sense that it's gonna be okay at that moment because it wasn't. I never sensed that for a second it was gonna be okay because it's, it's still not okay. We're broken. They didn't just take his life, they took ours. They took our life that we were supposed to share with him. It's gone. Octavia Avila grieves for her 41-year-old father, Octavio Avila Jr., seen here with two of his daughters. He was proud of all four of them. Avila lost his life just blocks away from his home. His car was riddled with bullets in Northwest 171st Street and 40th Avenue. Avila died at the scene. I wouldn't wish it to nobody, you know? 
and I'm just sad, you know, I'm heartbroken because he's my uncle, man. The grandfather, he just had a, his daughter just had a baby, you know what I'm saying, he had a little job, he was a good man. I learned that Mr. Avila was in a verbal dispute with several individuals in front of his house earlier that day. Mr. Avila decided to flee his home to protect his family and fled in an easterly direction. The offenders followed him and were able to pass his vehicle and cut him off. These subjects confronted him, blocked him in, and fired multiple rounds at him. Mr. Villa was struck once, again in the head and in the chest area. Avila's mother is completely devastated. She lost another son, tragically, 14 years ago. It's not known what prompted the shooting. Miami Gardens police have no suspects. He has a grandbaby, he has one in the way that is never going to know him. He has his daughter right here, I mean, a senior in high school, her prom, he's never gonna be a part of that. Every girl, every daughter has a soft spot for their dad. Every girl needs a dad growing up. A mom can only tell you so much. She can't tell you what a guy thinks because she's not a guy. Your dad is supposed to be there to do that. This has left us in unimaginable grief. We can't conceive that my brother's gone. It's not easy because people don't like to have confusion. They like to understand. They don't want to go around not knowing what happened. And just like every human being, I think I, sh I deserve to know what happened. What was their motive? These are questions that we don't have answers to, and we need those answers. It's peace for the family, it's peace for my mom. You look at my mom's face and it's, it's just, she's empty. And it's not just peace for us, it's, it's peace for the people who did this, because uh, they have to have some kind of compassion, they have to have some kind of heart. I don't think of them as monsters. I want them to say, you know, we did this, let's you know, turn ourselves in so they can have peace themselves. They have to have some kind of heart because my dad didn't hang around with heartless people. He wasn't like that.